you wouldn't want to go through life not knowing how to read, why go through life not knowing how to do math and science. There can be nothing more important than our students understanding and having a foundation in math and science. With technology growing, you have to know science and math. It'll give you more chances in life, more careers to choose from. We are creating a class society based on the gaps between those who are scientifically and mathematically literate and those who aren't. Today's global language for economic competitiveness is math and science. If we're illiterate in the areas of math and science, we're not going to be able to compete globally. If students don't do well in high school, they're going to be relegated to jobs in the service industry or whether it be food service or retail. I have a population of students that are performing probably at the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade level. Go ahead and pop them up. For every 10 new jobs, eight of them will be in healthcare or life sciences or related. And that's the area that math and science clearly makes up. In a high tech environment, you can't just put people in there and say, we're gonna train you for this. There's a level of understanding people have to have to walk into these positions. 342 pi squared. The implications, I think, for Kansas City have to do with our ability to compete as an economy far into the future. Because we can always go back in. The future will be all about can we get people who understand math and science and have the ability to apply that to the workplace. If it doesn't happen, we'll begin to see a downward cycle where new employers will not choose Kansas City. If we're not graduating young people from high school who are proficient in math and science, we're not preparing them for college, we're not preparing them for life. X equals zero. Awesome. Okay, let's do another one. Our students simply do not have content mastery in the math and science areas. I believe in myself. I know I could go far. After high school, I want to go to college. And to go to college, I want to learn, more, learn a lot, learn from anything that I can. We are uh, losing ground uh, as a nation, as, as individual states, as individual communities, and individuals within those communities. I think that the teachers have a huge impact on, on what, what the students are going to take out of the class. Um, I know that uh, for me, like the classes and the subjects in school that, that were most important to me were the classes where the teachers were really passionate about what they were doing and really wanted to convey those, those ideas and those lessons to the students. have to reach teachers so that they are not only knowledgeable but are able to inspire kids and to get kids to think and have fun while they're learning. There are a lot of teachers that are not comfortable teaching science so they avoid it or they stick strictly the textbook and they do not excite that curiosity that makes people pay attention to science, want to learn science, be eager for that knowledge. Part of it is being sure people are current with science content knowledge. Science is always evolving and changing and it's very difficult to stay current with that. It's my fifth year teaching and at my school we've lost several teachers that go to other school districts because of money. We're losing our good teachers. We're losing those teachers out of the area where we need them the most. The single greatest differentiator uh, is going to be a great teacher. So is the number getting bigger or smaller? 
a great teacher has the ability to make young people far more successful than they ever thought they could be. That's what I feel. I'd love to know what others think. That's how I feel about improving math education. How do you feel? Accountability in education is extremely important. I also think we need to have some uniform standards across the board. We do need to have a day of accounting where we begin to hold our institutions as well as our programs to a very high standard. Sometimes accountability is based solely on how you perform on a test. Accountability must also reflect how that student not only performs math and science, but also how we prepare that young person to integrate math and science concepts into the marketplace. I think accountability is very important as long as the standards are being improved to increase the overall knowledge, expertise, skill level of the kids. What you want to look your, make your special ideas for is the people Don't let kids off the hook as easy. So if you're going to raise the standards, keep the standards up and don't make exceptions. There needs to be a sense of urgency. We cannot afford to keep leaving students behind academically. The community as well has to have high expectations. I think we, we can't settle for small gains. We're graduating students who go to college and fail. And it's an injustice that we've dealt upon them. Accountability is a good thing. All it means is I'm measuring the progress of my students and I'm being held accountable for making sure I'm meeting their needs and that I'm helping them master those objectives. There you go, now you're ready to color it. How do you feel about these issues and how would you address them in your school or your community? That's what I think is happening. What about you? <laughs>